Hey guys, Long Haul Larry here and back on the house. Um, I'm trying to make the videos a little bit shorter and I thought I was getting a little too long with the last one. So I thought I'll show you guys today what I finished over here on this wall and working still on siding and finding lots of rot and stuff that I'm having to fix. So let's take a look. So I finished this side yesterday and um, it's not quite finished, but it's pretty good. Um, it needs the, the stuff around the window. But now the window is actually out where it should be. So now there don't need to be any wood board. I got a lot of caulk and stuff I got to pull off of here and everything. But the J trim actually will sit right up against here from the siding. And then you won't have wood boards along there that rot and everything else. You got to paint all the time and stuff. But um, this is what it's going to look like. And it's got the tar paper underneath the whole wall. The, this whole wall is all brand new. And it's got the tar paper all underneath there. And then... I put the treated plywood on there and an OSB. So it's treated plywood four feet up and then OSB all the way up. And I was able to get the overhang all done. I had some helpers come last night. We got this all finished up. I just still have to trim the very edge right here. I gotta trim that piece. But it's um it's done and the eave covering's all up there, the, the facial and everything's on there. And now this is also gonna have rain and ice stuff over the seams down here in the bottom but first i got to get the stuff that goes and sticks on there that kind of it's like rubber stuff and it molds around the window to seal it real good and um this will save this house this corner i rebuilt all the two by four inside and now i put all new wood on the outside and then plywood and everything but i'll put that on there and then down on the bottom, it's actually going to be tar paper over the top of it. So when I screw the metal into it, that'll help to seal it. And then up on top, it's going to have the Tyvek uh, coating onto it to help with wind and everything else. And that seals up that all that OSB and protects that too. But I got the boys here. I got the two young men and they're over here working. Um, they tore into this a little bit last night. It's not too bad. There's a couple rotten boards up in that corner that I got to replace. And then down on the bottom, the two bottom boards are going to have to replace but um, we're skipping that right now. I'm just gonna cover this up with a tarp. And this window will have to come out. I have to do the same thing, everything else. Get it all mounted out to where it's supposed to be. And then uh, that'll fix all that up. But I'm gonna just go tarp this for right now. I'm, I just wanted to, while I was doing that, there was guys standing here, so they kind of worked on this. So I'll tarp this off and we'll get to this later. But right now we're working over here. Should I be smelling the asbestos? Yeah, that's good. It's okay. that's healthy. That's health. Asbestos is very healthy for young men. Just and falling curl bars on the head too. <laughs> so we got muscle boy here and siding boy. I don't know. <laughs> your monkey boy, your shingle boy, and now your siding boy. <laughs> but what I am finding is a mess over here. When I did the inside, I had to put all new 2x4s over here because a lot of stuff was rotten. You can see all the new 2x4s. I did see all that when I framed it all out and everything. But I mean, the original house siding doesn't even go down to the concrete. It didn't even cover that. So I just actually ran to the lumber yard and got a whole bunch of uh, 1x6s. And this is going to have to be all coated again. So they're tearing all this off to go for today. In case you guys don't know, you see that metal line up there? See the, the piece of metal right above you? Yeah. yeah. We're going to strip everything off to that line. Okay. All the way across the house. We need to get this all stripped off. Okay. And then um, when they get a little bit further here, then I'm going to start working on putting, reconstructing all this, getting all the rotten stuff out, pull the window out, get all that rotten stuff. And this window I actually put in myself when I redid the house. This window was completely bad. And I put this in and I put this, um, it's the stuff that goes around to seals the window. And when, um, and Jonathan pulled this off, there was actually moisture all in here and stuff. So this stuff's been getting moisture. It's, so this needs to be all fixed up correct. We're going to do this right so that we don't have to do this again. It should be good for 50 years, 100 years. Let's hope so. <laughs> Yeah. Your, your guys' great grandparent, great grand, grandkids or something will come here and you can show them in your dying bed. I did this. Uh huh. They sound excited about that. But um, we're going to try to get all this off today. And I don't have a full day going on here. 
um, because uh, I'm actually heading to Marquette to watch a band tonight. I don't know yeah. what I'm doing. And um, and there's a Menards over there, so that's my highlight. I don't really care about the band. There's a Menards. <laughs> <laughs> and so I can get a bunch more building materials that I need and everything and do another load. And I have to look at the colors of the siding and and uh, the steel roofing and the siding. I got to try to match them up. I want it to be blue like this. And the whole reason why I want it to be blue is because that house over there, their parents actually built this house. And that used to be the general store, the little porch on the front of their house it used to be a general store and they lived in that. And then when they got older, they built this house and they get and that house went to the kids and they moved over here. So it was white and this was blue. And so they have their house in white with blue trim. And I thought it'd be cool to make this blue with white trim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought it'd be kind of neat. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole purpose of this. So I'm going to get to work. I got to start pulling all this stuff off and get going here. All right, guys. We have been working at this and adjusting a lot of dust and things. And we've got this all ripped off. And there is definitely some rotten stuff. Um, this over here, I actually did when I did the inside, I put all new boards in there cause this corner was rotten away. And so I put new boards all in here, but then I've kind of went up to the good wood here on the side. I've cut it off a little bit shy and I'm going to be planking this with one by sixes going over to here, going right to the windowsill to make a nice window open like I did in the other wall. And the same thing over here and up around the top. This over here has got some problems. It's got some two by fours. It's starting to rot along the bottom, right? Right in this area right in here. So I'm going to have to put a jack over there to release some stress on the house over there where the wood is good. And then um, jack it up a little bit and then cut it off all on the bottom of the wall studs. And then put a nice green treated priest in there on the bottom all the way over there to resecure this. And then I'll have to tone in nails or screws or whatever back for all the wall studs and everything. And you can see a lot of these wall bars right here. This is all rotten junk. I'll probably end up cutting it back to like like here and then this one here is gonna have to be all replaced and um and so this this will have to be all done and everything i am out of time for the day so i have some plans for this evening so we're gonna see how to throw a tarp over this and i'll be back tomorrow afternoon and start planking this all in and putting wood in here and stuff like this and making this all new again Maybe just like that other wall in the corner of the house. <coughs> I ingested some dust there. <coughs> so this is all done as far as we're going to go for the day. And we're just going to tarp it and get out of here. So I know the boys are ready to go. You got anything to say for yourself? I love how don't ingest asbestos. Asbestos is good. It's like steroids for working out. It makes, mean, makes you pump out muscles more. If you say so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying so. Hmm. So, keep tearing it apart. There's no asbestos in this thing. <laughs> Alrighty.